the name came from um, by trade. I'm a master's level social worker. So I was meeting with a client and the client said, you know, I make mistakes. I don't understand why I always make mistakes. I try so hard, but I make mistakes. And I said to him, I said, hey, we all make mistakes. But the problem is every day we try to pretend like we're perfect. And we try to put on a front, even trick ourselves that we're perfect. And I said, no, it's okay to be imperfect. We need to embrace that. So I kind of said to him jokingly, I said, you know, we contradict ourselves daily. We kind of like, we like walking contradictions. I was like, hmm. hmm. It definitely stuck. It okay. kind of stuck. So when I left work and then I became a performer, and I was thinking about different names, and I, I said walking contradiction. I thought, that's too long. That's very, very long. But I said, it's different. No one else has it. Exactly. And it inspires thought, mm -hmm. and which I love. So I went ahead and stuck with it. That's right. OK, well. I definitely wanted to commend you on your performance tonight. You did Thank a very you. good job. Appreciate it. You know, but you know, sometimes as we kind of talked about, you know, the audience doesn't necessarily respond the way right. that you would expect them to. What What were your expectations coming in, first of all? I mean, to be honest with you, I don't have expectations because a crowd. Sometimes people look at it as you're coming to entertain me, so I'm going to start off low, and you need to bring me high. And other times, people come in very excited, and then they want to remain excited so you have to put on the show i come in with the same approach every show my job is to leave an imprint on you my job is to leave a legacy so when i get on that stage regardless if it's one person or a thousand i have to be at the same energy level the same quality the same preparation no matter if it's a small gig big gig i have to bring it every day you don't care i'm not from here i don't give a damn i'm at fun i'm at fun regardless you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take my time. I'm going to make love to the mom. I'm going to take it slow. Tonight you lose control. For who? For walking contradiction. For walking contradiction. Let me hear it. Walking contradiction. You know these reasons, right? Walking contradiction. I think I am. Therefore, I am. Uh, walking contradiction. I'm both East and a Cornell and Kanye West of the norm. Martin Malcolm's dreams reborn. A word spin. Saudi Sojourner's truth. Consciousness from underground, somewhat like a modern day Harry Tub man in man's form. I am walking contradiction. Y'all know it, y'all know it now. Walking contradiction. I was going to white out there. Walking contradiction. Walking contradiction. So, what do you do to prepare for a show? Typically, I actually zone out. I do any and everything I can to make me not think about the show. So today, the show was at, uh, at 6, so we had to be here for 5 o'clock for the sound check. So up until 5 o'clock, I've been listening to every genre of music. I was walking through Hartford, looking at sites. Like, I don't want to think about the show until it's game time. Okay. So when I know I'm here for the sound check, time to concentrate on what I have to do and I just envision the entire performance okay. like I envision my entire set the different jokes I may make I try to be spontaneous but some things I'd say all right I'm gonna make a joke about this this chicken shack I saw on Main Street like you know I, I'll, I'll bring it in and try to prepare I try to visualize the entire night before I get out there. All right, and um, you do have two albums. I know you just uh, released one. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that album? What people should expect? Think, why is that? Well, actually, I have one that's out now okay. called My Words, My Passion. Yes. My second album is coming out on oh. March 3rd. Okay. okay. Yeah, I've been talking about it so much yeah. that people think it's out because I'm yeah. just so excited about good, this album. I, I, my goal is really to bring back the times of of, of your Isaac Hayes and your Barry White, okay. and you can put a CD in, and the music takes you away before the before the singer even begins or the poet begins. So I've been working exclusively with um, five producers that I know personally, that I have great relationships with, and I say, look, this is what I want. This is what I hear in my head, and then I say it, and they've been 
going about the task of giving me what I want. And it's been coming together pretty, pretty well. All right. So where can people access your music now? I know you, you have a website. Mm -hmm. You want to just give people to that. Yeah, the website is beyondmusic.com. It's beyond and then music spelled with a Q. And right now the album is on iTunes. Um, the album is on uh, Rhapsody. It's on a lot of those online things. You can check those out. But I tell people to come to beyondmusic.com because on that site, we believe in giving you more. So we'll send out a free t-shirt. Like we randomly give out gifts because we, we want to show people. We appreciate you coming to our site and, and supporting independent art. So uh, iTunes, you can't get the bonus tracks. There's five bonus tracks you can get on beyondmusic.com. There's a bonus DVD that you get for free when you buy the album you don't get from no old. Come to the website. So New England area, thank you very much. Fuse Magazine, thank you for taking the time to give a little dude from North New Jersey the opportunity to say what I like to do. Peace.